Welcome to day 40 of Underground, where I'm running every land and station on the London tube map. It's day two of fun, fun, fun. I'm on the coin and tram, tram, tram. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't not acknowledge that. It's the second day of running the London trams, starting at Sandylands, running the loop around Croydon, then out over to Wimbledon, which kind of looks like this on the London tube map. However, if we take a look at Google Maps, we can see it looks a fair bit different geographically, and yeah. That's all of my underground routes on one map. Pretty cool, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> Alright, let's see where I'm up to on today's underground run, doing the London trams. Alright, so we got to our first stop at Lebanon Road. So the next stop is East Croydon, where I just know for a fact that it's going to be busy around there, so that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Alright. So just behind me is East Croydon, station as well as the tram stops etc very uh, very busy station and do you know what it'll be a station that i come back to in the future when i run thameslink no pressure <laughs> Alright, so just next to me is George Street tram stop. We are going to be looping back around to here again. Uh, it's from East Croydon, we're doing the Croydon Loop. So, yeah, we'll be coming back here again. So, we did just pass Church Street, and at this point, we are going to branch off and follow the Croydon Loop around. You know what? It looks like as if I'm like chasing the tram. <laughs> While it did look like I was racing the tram, I soon passed Central and West Croydon tram stops where it did feel like as if I was seeing double. Back at West Croydon Overground Station, kind of feels a bit like deja vu. Very strange. I'm pretty certain that's pronounced, is it Wesley Road? Wheelsley Road? I have no idea. And that brings the Croydon Loop to a close. So now we're going to go back the way we came and then we're going to shoot off out over to Wimbledon. <laughs> Alright, so where we turned off to the right there, now we're going straight on. Lovely stuff. So the thing with the trams is that it's very difficult to like film what's in between because they're so close to each other. But there's a little point of interest here is that at this point there is this bridge here and that takes the tram over the National Rail lines to see it. Pass through Wandle Park to get to Wandle Park tram stop. <laughs> However, I've just rocked up to Wadden Marsh where you get a lovely backdrop of the Croydon Gasworks. So one of the things that I should have mentioned when I was at West Croydon, this part of Tramlink from West Croydon over to Wimbledon wasn't built specifically for the trams and in fact it's because there used to be a railway line from Wimbledon to West Croydon. So when that was taken out of use in I think 1997, it was then converted to the trams that we know it as today. And you can see at West Croydon where the former platform used to be. While we're on the topic of former railway lines, I may as well start talking about former station names, or rather, former tram stop names. This here used to be called Ikea and Pier Way, and it's because there's an Ikea in the area. Mind-blowing, I know. It was actually part of a paid partnership with Ikea and London Tramlink at the time to promote the Ikea, and so for a brief period, and Pier Way was known as Ikea and Pier Way. Well, what I found interesting was looking at the IKEA building was how it incorporated the chimneys when it used to be, I think it was a factory of some sort. Around this area it feels like very industrial, lots of like trade, but not like that kind of trade, but trade. And anyway, yeah. <laughs> While I was trying to figure out what the f*** it was I was trying to say, I soon intercepted Mitcham Common, which was actually a really pleasant surprise, considering that there was so much industry and that it was actually quite a busy area around there. This was a really welcome change, and I did actually find it to be very, very peaceful. In fact, maybe a bit too peaceful? 
This bit around here is very lovely, but also suspiciously quiet. And I feel like as if any moment I'm gonna get punked <laughs> or something. So just there is Beddington Lane tram stop, which is on the same location as the former Beddington Lane station, but it was a part of the National Rail Network, like I spoke about a bit earlier. Initially, I couldn't find like any old remnants of when it used to be a National Rail Station, but I don't know, I would need to go back another time to take a closer look. So I just crossed over the footbridge over the National Rail Line, which is close to Mitcham Junction Station. We're going to go there in just a second, but I am just curious as to how this car got here and then was set alight. Hmm. Welcome to Croydon, question mark. So Mitchum Common, that was surprisingly very pleasant. You know, I didn't know that I was going to intercept that, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. In the future, Mitchum Common is going to be a part of what is to become the Wandle Valley Country Park. Very nice. So recently got to Mitcham Junction. Now just in the area of Mitcham Junction is the, apparently it's the oldest cricket grounds in the world that's still in use. Uh, it's part of the cricket green conservation area, I believe. With around six tram stops remaining on my journey today, I stopped for a quick breather, continued along over to Mitcham, and I caught a beautiful glimpse of the tram coming into the stop. And then next up was Belgrave Walk, where I, 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 didn't, I didn't really think that there was much to document. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, there wasn't too much to document from Mitcham to here. It's just mostly industrial stuff. However, what was worth documenting at Belgrave Walk was this little tidbit about the future of this tram stop. So I just made it to Belgrave Walk, which could be part of the second tramlink extension from I think it's around Sutton over to Collier's Wood. There were three options that were in mind, but TfL have supposedly gone for option two, uh, which is from Sutton to Collier's Wood. But this route was chosen to be, I think it was the most cost effective, if I'm not mistaken. Construction is due to start sometime in 2023, I believe, but we don't know if that's gonna happen given like TFL's finances and everything. We don't know. With all that aside, I soon got to Phipps Bridge tram stop, which is directly opposite Morden Hall Park, which was, I'm not gonna lie, it was absolutely gorgeous to run through. I really, really enjoyed it. Morden Hall Park is also close to Morden Underground Station on the Northern Line. I just can't believe that I massively overlooked this park here when I did the Northern Line a few months ago and I just had no idea that this park has ever existed. <laughs> Very bad research on my behalf back then. And here I am at Morden Road tram stop, which was also a former railway station on the Wimbledon to West Croydon Railway. And while we're on the topic of former railway stations, why don't we talk about former railway lines? So right now we're running along what was the former Wimbledon, Javier Mills and Two Team Railway, which was dismantled, I think, in the 60s. And now it is this lovely little trail. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm... I'm feeling quite out of it at the moment. I'm just absolutely exhausted. So I'm here at Nursing Park. There we've got um, two more stops left and then that is the trams all done. But at the moment I'm, yeah, like I was saying before, I'm, I'm, I'm just absolutely shattered at the minute. <laughs> absolutely knackered. I then made it to Dundonald Road and then continued following my route, which brought me to this footbridge going over the national rail tracks. I then continued following the path a little bit more and then I eventually got to Wimbledon Station, where my camera died. So, running the London trams. I did that. <laughs> Taking the two sections of the London trams, that was 35.1 kilometres, bringing the grand total of running the London Underground, London Overground, 
Docklands Light Railway and trams to 945.51 kilometres. Or whatever that is in miles. So what's left to run in the London Tube map? Well, there's TFL Rail slash Elizabeth Line thing whatever. The cable car. Ugh. And now Thameslink. Just love that little addition. Thanks, Thameslink. And so I'll pass the question on to you. What is it that you want to see next? Let me know in the comments down below. All sources used for this video as well as on the social media can be found in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for a brand new episode of Run the Ground next time.